Hi there, it's Leslie Fightmaster with Fightmaster Yoga. Welcome to this morning quickie flow. Let's bring our hands together, crossing at the shins. Sit up nice and tall and close your eyes. Let's take a moment to settle in and set your intention for your practice. All intentions are always welcome. And then continuing here, either with hands together at heart center or rest your hands on your legs. Take a long breath in through your nose. Exhale out your mouth. Once again, inhale through the nose. Exhale out your mouth. And now keep your breath in and out through the nose. Ujjayi pranayama. Continue sitting nice and tall and then shift the cross of your legs so the other shin is in front. Grounding down through the sit bones and lengthening tall. Inhale, sweep the arms out around and up. Palms face each other. Relax around the neck. As you exhale, take your left arm down and reach over toward the left side and stretch out through the left side body again relax the shoulders away from the ears and inhale both arms reaching nice and tall exhale bring your right hand down leaning over towards your right side stretch the left side body stretching all the way from your sitting bone on the left side through the fingertips Relax shoulders away from ears. And then inhale, come back through center, stretching the arms up once again. And then exhale, take the arms down by your sides. Take your left ear to your left shoulder. Bring your left hand on your head, not pulling, just a little extra weight. Extend the right arm out, flex the wrist. Let your left shoulder release away from your ear as you stretch the side of the neck. Take a breath here. And release it back to center, then right ear to right shoulder. Bring your right arm up, just let it rest on your head. Extend the left arm out, flex your wrist, and stretching through the whole left side from the neck all the way down through the hands. Let your shoulders release away from your ears here as you're breathing. And again, you're not pulling with your right hand, it's just a little extra weight on your head to stretch the neck. Inhale, come back through center, and then we'll make our way on to hands and knees. And then stretching, wrists under shoulders, knees under hips. Inhale, bring the chest forward, lift your chin and tailbone up. And then exhale and round your back, bring your chin towards your chest, pull the belly and ribs in. And again, inhale, bring your heart through the gates of your arms as you widen your collarbones, exhale. Round your back, press away from the floor, pulling in ribs and belly. Once again, inhale forward, lifting chin, lifting tailbone. Exhale and round the back, chin toward the chest. And then we'll make our way to a child's pose. Take the hips back to the heels and extend your arms in front of you. Stretch out here, spread your fingers nice and wide. And walk your arms forward so that your wrists and your elbows come off the mat. And now sweep your hands to your low back and hook your thumbs or interlace the fingers. As you exhale, start to lift the arms up, being careful not to lock out the elbows. Keep a little softness in your elbow joints. Take a breath here, stretching the shoulders, and then release it. Unclasp, and then we'll reclasp with the other pinky or thumb on the top. Take a breath in, exhale again as you lift the arms gently, stretching up again, being careful not to overextend through the elbow joints. And then releasing that, stretch your arms forward again, spread the fingers. And again, wrists and elbows come up away from the mats. And then make your way up and bring your heart forward, lifting chin and tailbone up. As you exhale, tuck your toes, round your back. 
take your hips all the way back to the heels and then inhale come back to the knees and do it and then come into downward facing dog stretch all the way back arms shoulders distance feet hips width bicycle your legs by bending one knee in the other warming up arms and ears are in line with each other stretching back for a breath draw in through the low belly and then exhale back to the knees and into child's pose keeping the toes tucking under we'll do that again inhale make your way up bring your chest through lift your chin and your tailbone up the wrists are just in front of the shoulders exhale round the back chin toward chest and this time lift straight up into downward facing dog all the way back stretch a nice long line of energy from your hands up into your hips and then reaching down through your heels inhale come back up to the back down to the knees and into child's pose stretching back keeping the toes tucking under once again inhale back up onto the knees bring your chest forward Forward. this time lower all the way down to your belly untuck your toes hands by low ribs come to little cobra press all ten toenails into the floor as you lengthen your buns towards your heels and then lower down as you inhale start to make your way up again maybe a little bit higher roll the shoulders back and down widen across the chest high cobra or stick with low and then lower back down, tuck your toes under, press up to plank, knees up or down, and lift your hips again into downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Arms are shoulders distance and feet are hips distance apart. And keep your breath nice and steady so your inhales and exhales are equal. Now walk your feet about as wide as the mats. And then walk your hands as wide as the mat, maybe even holding the sides of the mat. And now see if you can stretch a little bit more. See if you can get a little more length through your spine as you stretch back. It should feel pretty good. And maybe your heels will get a little bit closer to the floor. Maybe they won't. It doesn't matter. But just see if you can find more length, especially through your back, through your spine. And then taking your hands again, hips or shoulders distance, feet hips width. Ripple your spine forward into plank pose, top of a push up. Knees can come down anytime. Shift forward, lower all the way, chaturanga halfway, inhaling into upward dog or into cobra. And then exhale, tuck the toes, lift your hips up and back for downward facing dog. Stretching back again. Really stretch out the spine as best you can, but keep your ribs and your belly pulling in and up sometimes there's a tendency to arch too much look forward walk your feet all the way to your hands and then grab your elbows and hang feet are hips width apart make sure the outer edges of the feet are parallel and gently rock your torso from side to side bend the knees as much as you need to here or if the legs are straight shift your weight toward the balls of your feet now let your head hang lightly nod your head yes and turn it no bring hands to hips bend the knees come all the way up to standing find the front of your mat in samastitihi tadasana pose feet hips width or together be sure the outer edges of your feet are parallel inhale sweep your arms up keep the ribs and belly in exhale hinge from your hips and fold uttanasana and inhale halfway lift arda exhale step into plank pose and lower chaturanga knees up or down inhale upward dog or cobra your choice and exhale tuck the toes for downward facing dog for a few breaths a sun salutation just to get the energy moving in the body we're moving a little bit slowly this morning look forward step or hop and sit and if you have a block handy grab it and bring it next to you so you know where it is then walk your heels under the knees with your arms by your sides take that block at the base of your spine as you come into a bridge pose you can have it on the lowest setting or the middle setting 
not the highest setting for this one because in a moment we'll lift the legs and then it becomes unstable. It should feel comfortable right in the base of the spine, right on your sacrum bone. If you don't have a block, you could use a book if you've got that or just come into bridge and hold the bridge. And then if you've got the block, you'll leave it there as you lift your legs up. If you're in bridge pose, come back onto your back and then lift the legs. So as you lift the legs up, this is a little variation of shoulder stand or Vipriti Karani. It's very relaxing, very good to help our nervous system calm down a bit. So take some long breaths here as we go against gravity a little bit for our legs. Take just a couple breaths. And now bend the knees, feet back to the floor. Roll yourself down and hug your knees into your chest, gently rocking here from side to side. Give your low back a little massage. And from here, take your right ankle just past your left knee for thread the needle. Bring the hands through and hold on to your left leg, either the shin or behind the thigh, drawing the right hip forward for a hip stretch. You can always take this deeper by lifting the left leg straight up toward the ceiling if you like. Otherwise, keep it a little more mellow, stretching out that right hip. And then taking the arms out to the sides, take both legs over to the left. So you're in the same position with the legs. If that isn't comfortable, you can always put knee on top of knee instead. Keep turning your belly toward the ceiling as you're twisting. Take one more breath and come back to center. Bring left ankle just past the right knee, flex the ankle, hold on to the right leg. Either hold the shin or hold behind your thigh. Drawing your left hip forward here. And breathe as you stretch out the hip. Again, if you wanna go a little deeper, you can extend that right leg up toward the ceiling or keep it nice and mellow, whatever makes you feel good with your hip stretch. Now take the arms out to the sides, drop your knees to the right, and look over the left shoulder. So if you are comfortable with it, you'll keep your legs in the same position. If it isn't as comfortable, left knee on top of right is perfect. And then just turn the belly up toward the ceiling as you're twisting here. Continue your steady breath, inhales and exhales equal in length. And then make your way back to center. And we'll come into our final resting pose, into Shavasana. So get comfortable, let your feet flop open, arms by your sides, palms faced up. And a quote from the Little Book of Wisdom for exquisite ladies and gentlemen, of course. There comes a time in life when you have to let go of all the pointless drama and the people who create it and surround yourself with people who make you laugh so hard that you forget the bad and focus solely on the good. After all, life is too short to be anything but happy. And begin to make some movements. Lower your hands and your feet. Take a long stretch, arms overhead. Just to reawaken yourself, bend your knees, roll yourself off to your right side and take a moment to revisit your intention. And then as you're ready, use your top hand to press yourself up slowly to a comfortable seat. Sitting up nice and tall, crossing the shins, we'll bring our hands together. Let's bring our hands to the forehead to remind us to have clear and loving thoughts. Hands to the heart, reminding us to have clear and loving intentions. 
and the hands to the mouth to remind us to have clear and loving communications, sending out this positive energy we've created to all beings everywhere. Namaste. I thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed your practice and have the best day. See you later. Bye.